everybody. Welcome back to Beyond the Beat. It's good to see you there. All right. If you dig these videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the videos and also leave a comment because it really helps us. All right. Today we're going to be covering Maroon 5's Memories. I'm going to teach you how to play it. So you'll need a capo, a pick, your guitar, and, you know, some good vibes. Let's get into it. Okay, this is how you play Memories, everybody. Make sure your capo is on fret four. All right, make sure that it's not too snug over the fret or anything, just right in front of it, so that all the notes are nice and clear. The toughest chord in this song is your B minor, all right? It's actually not a B minor when the capo's on, but we're just gonna call all the chords by their shape name, all right? So we're gonna call this G, this D, this E minor, this B minor, this C, all right? They're actually different chords, but for now we'll just call them by their shape name, all right? So uh, this is a cool way to play it. I'm just going to show you. Um, I'm finger picking it, all right? And I'm, I'm putting my G chord down. And what I do is I hit the bass string. You really, the main thing to get this song sounding cool is if you can play the root note of the chord or the bass note and then answer it with sort of a strum or a little picking pattern that sort of punctuates the uh, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four so you're punctuating that and all right so it goes like this i'll just play it through see if you dig it and then uh, i'll teach you how to play it And that's the whole song. It just cycles on that whole progression. It's really nice. So what I was doing there is with my thumb, I was playing the root note of the G chord. And then I skip the A string, play the D string, and then answer with these two strings here, the G and the B. And I just do it in a little succession. So, and then I stop the sound with my hand after I play it. Right? To get that nice little staccato break all right and then it's a little bit different so the next chord i kind of push it a bit but i, I hit the root note and hold it for a bit and I, all, all i'm doing there is i'm hitting the open d and then i'm hitting the g string and then i'm answering with the top two right and then always i use the heel of my hand right here at the bridge just to stop the sound after and then we go to the e minor and we pick the same strings as we did for the G. And then it's the same sort of rhythm. And then we sort of hold the root note again on the B minor chord. And here, you're, you're picking, your, your thumb hits here, and then you're picking the D string, and then you, you grab these two, and then you stop it. But you, you let the root note ring a little longer. And then at C, same pattern as the G and the, the D, or sorry, the G and the E. I mean, it's the same rhythm. Uh, the, the strings that you're playing are just, uh, you're, you're playing your A string, and you stop it, right? It's just the four middle strings. And then you, and on, when you go to the G chord, you hold the root note. So, so call it short, long, short, long, short, long. It's just a little bit of an, a call and response rhythm, and it's really cool for the song. Uh, a simpler way to do it, if that's baffling you, and you don't want to go through the process of learning that, just hit the root note, and then, and then answer with the strum. So root note, strum, root note, strum, root note, strum, root note, strum. can't switch your chords, just try the root notes. Really try to play along with the song. That's the best way that you'll get good at it. If, you're, if you can't sing it in the key that they are, that they're doing it in, try it on a different fret. Try moving the capo around. Try to find the perfect key for your voice. It's all about setting you up to sound good and feel good while you're doing it. If the B chord's giving you grief, okay, put your finger down, your, your fingertip down, your third fingertip down, your pinky down, 
and your second finger down. All right, and what you want to do is you want to try to pick through the strings one at a time. And try to get it without any buzzing. And then relax your hand and move everything up one fret. And we want to do this every day. We just get used to playing this little B minor chord, moving it up the neck. It becomes a different minor chord every time. This would be a G minor. This would be G sharp. This is a nice high A minor chord. All right? Um, so basically, that's, that's all there is to the song, okay? here you watch the whole video that's wicked thanks for watching okay so if you did like it definitely subscribe to the channel hit the like button leave your comments and stay cool all right keep on picking peace